13. září si připomínáme z té výročí narození českého básníka a imunologa Miroslava Holuba, autora, který se dodnes těší úžasnému mezinárodnímu renomé. Miroslav Holub byl unikát v české poezii, básník, který zcela přirozeně propojil vědeckou profesi a vědeckou vášeň s hravostí a tvořivostí básníka. Jeho poetika je v českém, ale možná i mezinárodním kontextu ojedinělá, přístupná, srozumitelná, hravá a moderní. Proto stojí za to Miroslava Holuba číst. So midday, a helping hand and wings are my top three, but I think helping hand has to be my favorite poem. It's deceptively simple. Um, I would say of my friends who are maybe not so into poetry, when they hear that one, that's the one that sticks with them. And I think that's for a good reason. An epping and. We gave an epping and to grass and it turns it into a corn. We give an airplane and to fire and it turns to a rocket. Hesitantly, cautiously, we give an airplane and to people, to some people. I'd never heard of him before I was invited to come and speak at this event and, and uh, read out one of his poems. But since reading his poems, I've rather fallen for him. Um, I particularly admire the fact that he was a polymath I discovered his poetry, I think, just by random. I think that's always the best way with poetry, when you're just, you get sent a poem or you get recommended something or you just buy a book and you discover it. I find it's like finding a feather. And, and, and in that interview with Tom Paulin, one of the things that struck me, because Tom Paulin, who is a very lovely man, was, uh, and very full of sympathy, was trying to sort of ask him to speak in a more emotive way about his experiences. And he just said, well, you know, when that era of censorship ended, it was like taking off a pair of tight shoes. He was so unsentimental and yet so compassionate. It was a great lesson in life. A boy's head. In it, there is a spaceship and a project for doing away with piano lessons. And there is Noah's Ark, which shall be first. And there is an entirely new bird, an entirely new hare, an entirely new bumblebee. There is a river that flows upwards. There is a multiplication table. There is antimatter. And it just cannot be trimmed. I believe that only what cannot be trimmed is ahead. There is much promise in the circumstance that so many people have heads. in the microscope and this is how it goes it says here too are dreaming landscapes lunar derelict here too are the masses tillers of the soil and cells fighters who lay down their lives for a song here too are cemeteries fame and snow and I hear the murmuring the revolt of immense estates. So one of the things that I really love about Miroslav's work is his specificity. Uh, the fact that he is never afraid to pull from exactly what interests him, exactly what's speaking to him at the time. You know, I mean, even uh, myself, I thought, should I make this 
reference to research that I've done because I'm sure only very few people in the world would be interested in that. And you can kind of tell he never had those thoughts. He really dived in and said, this is what I'm going to write about and uh, they're going to love it because I'm going to write about it in such an exceptional way. The Door by Miroslav Holub. Go and open the door. Maybe outside there's a tree or a wood or a garden or a magic city. Go and open the door. Maybe a dog's rummaging. Maybe you'll see a face or an eye or the picture of a picture. Go and open the door. If there's a fog, it will clear. Go and open the door. Even if there's only the darkness ticking, even if there's only the hollow wind, even if nothing is there, go and open the door. At least there'll be a draft.